What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part we basically did all the remaining tasty recipes and all got all the remaining star pieces and we only have one badge to get and it's in chapter 8 so this part we're gonna do none than basically go towards the chapter 8 area we're gonna go to Star Haven because now that we've saved all the star spirits we basically can go to Shooting Star Summit and basically get their get their power. So yeah, one thing I will advise also, any star pieces that you get, any tasty recipes you need to get, or any badges, get them now, because when you're in chapter eight in Bowser's Castle, let's just say there's gonna be lots of backtracking to get back to Toad Town, so just do all this shit now, so and you have it, you'll save yourself a headache later. There's one badge that we need to get left, but it's in it's in chapter eight, so um and I was just doing a badge reshuffling, except uh, I accidentally got rid of a speedy spin. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna need D down jump for. I'm gonna use D down jump for this chapter. So um, and that, and that was when I realized I, I took off speedy spin backs, and I meant to put on a completely different badge. But um, yeah, we're gonna put take off refund and put it put speedy spin on. So. Yeah, basically we're going to, uh, and once again, much like the last part, I had to, ed I'm doing post commentary and editing in relevant game music. So, uh, because this was the, these next few, these next several parts were the last part I record, the last recording session I did of this game. Unfortunately, the sound went out. So you have to kind of, this is the one way I have to save the playthrough is kind of, because it took, it's 16 hours of gameplay to get back to where I was. So... Yeah, it's just better to do this method. Like, um, to be fair, I'm also I also recorded this session like two weeks in advance. I'm not even recording this commentary like two weeks in advance of this going up. Like, I have a bunch of Paper Mario videos here. But also, this is the Star Way, but um, yeah, there's gonna be new enemies here, and uh, basically, um, yeah, I, I thought I was I just the music right here is amazing. I think in this part of the recording, I try to demonstrate how amazing it was but like um yeah these are new enemies they are these are embers they are like um they're like the potaboos in chapter five only that they're stronger and they take more damage so ice probably a good badge to have but i just hammered him did 10 damage and it took him out so um the enemies in chapter eight are gonna do a lot of damage so i'd recommend like um Either A, having a bunch of it, having all the HP up, or B, using danger strats or peril strats. Maybe danger strats, not as much peril strats, but, um, yeah, I would absolutely recommend just, uh, having some good, a good badge. Like, I have all or nothing and two attack power plus and, and, uh, uh, PFD down. So that's like four attack I have just in badges. So, I guess, uh, yeah, that's why I'm able to do 10 damage to these guys, but, um... We haven't... I, don't, I didn't get to show it in this recording, but these enemies can also injure party members, so, um... We, I think we've only seen an injured party member maybe a couple of times. It's kind of like the death of a party member in Thousand Year Door, like they're just unusable in battle. But anyway, so now we're in Star Haven. So, um, yeah, now we're in Star Haven. So, uh, yeah, this is basically, um, basically, th there's gonna be one last Toad House before uh, we go to Bowser's Castle. There's gonna be one last shop, or the second last shop. There's a shop in Bowser's Castle we can do later, but, um, so yeah, we're basically, uh, I'm basically, uh, we're basically, we don't really have much to claim though, so, um, I guess I claimed I uh, I claimed the repel gel, but I failed to realize I already had two of those. So um, I kind of sold that one. So I, I sold the shooting star because I didn't think I would need it anymore. But uh, yeah, I sold the repel gel and I uh, I sold the shooting star because um, yeah, I, I sold the shooting star. Yeah. I, I knew I didn't need that anymore because um, I knew I needed some life strums in my inventory. So um. Because let's just say chapter eight's a bit a pretty big step up in difficulty if you're a novice towards this game. But um yeah, I just recommend having a bunch of life shrooms, but um you know switch back to what so um 
I'm also gonna shorten the length of some of these parts. This was accordingly originally like four parts, but um, I'm gonna shorten some of the parts because uh, it's not fun to record a 30 minute long post commentary, let's just say, so. Um, I think this will be like, I think instead of four or five parts, this will be like six or seven parts because I originally had the finale to be like an hour long. But anyway, we're in the Star Sanctuary. This is where we're gonna get to Bowser's Castle. Anyway, so Eld Stars basically, they're gonna give us the uh, Star Beam, which will actually, when Bowser makes himself invincible, he will just, um, we'll just basically, um, we will basically use the Star Beam and it'll actually get rid of his invincibility. Like I said, I went out of my way to make, to add the relevant tracks to the game to, um, to make this video watchable because the same thing happened back when I did the Majora's Mask playthrough. I had a botched recording and uh, I did this that way too. It was not fun to do then. It probably isn't, it isn't very fun to do now. Because like when I'm recording, the, the day I'm recording this part 30 um, is up and like, um, see it's two weeks in advance because this is a, uh, this is part, this is part 39. So, um, yeah, so this is like two weeks in advance. And I'm, I'm scheduling it to be posted two weeks in advance, so, um. I, I just wanted to um, schedule the rest of Paper Mario two weeks in advance because, uh, I said, last part was going on vacation, by the way. Um, This is the new uh, song in the game, but uh, this is the, uh, I just wanted to make this appropriate to the cutscene, so I added the relevant tracks. So, um, I don't want to come off as lazy. Like, I want this video to be at least watchable, even though this is post commentary. But yeah, it's crazy because, like, this LP, this playthrough's gone like three, for like, is gonna go on for like three months. And like, I knew this was gonna take a while to finish, but like, um, it took three months to finish this. But, um, anyway, so we're now in chapter eight, a star powered showdown. Now, the only way we can get back to Star Haven is, uh, go on the, uh, the Star Road, the, the, the whatever it is, but, um, that's the only way we get back to Star Haven to leave Bowser's Castle, and not only that, going through the Star Vet, going through the Star Road is the the Star Way is the only way to get back to Toad Town. So, like I said, any taste tea recipes, any badges you need to get, any star pieces, do it now. Do it in, do it before you go to Chapter Eight because when you get to Bowser's Castle, there's gonna be lots of backtracks, especially the further you get in Bowser's Castle. Anyway, so these are Koopa Trolls. We already fought them in Chapter 4, but we have, we're much stronger since then. They have 8 HP, and I have Spike Shield and a bunch of attack power, attack up badges. So, um, I'm pretty sure I get a level up in this part, but, um, yeah, so he's going to drop the, there's also a badge that's going to be further left that's blocked by lava that we're going to need to go grab later. So, um, yeah, pretty much like um, we're gonna need to find a way to get the lava out. So that's how we can get the badge. Now there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be new enemies here, and uh, already a Koopa Patrol. But uh, I think at this, I think I just um, Koopa Patrols are not too bad if you have Spike Shield and like D down jump. But um, however, they'll charge up in like a certain amount of turns. I think they charge up in this battle, but um. Yeah, we should be almost a level up. Um, down jump and uh, yeah, we'll D down jump and he's taken out. So uh, yeah, one more battle will get us a level up. Anyway, so I think there's a second enemy I want to show in this area. It's uh, yeah, it's 
Hold on a second. Yes, the Hammer Bros. We already fought them in Chapter 4, but we're much stronger since then. We're just going to D-down jump them, and it'll take them out. Because yeah, they have one point of defense, and uh, they have a chance of shrinking, just keep in mind. And I forgot we actually got some defense power in uh, this turn, but... um. Yeah, so, uh, I think I failed the action command here, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately I did, so, uh, a good thing I blocked that, and I actually realized that I could just normal jump them and still kill them because they have 12 HP, so, um, yeah, unfortunately we did not get a level up just yet, but one more battle will get us a level up, I'm pretty sure I get a level up in this part, but, um, I think I go back and fight the Koopa Troll. Yeah, and I just don't even care with this battle. Like, there's four Koopa Trolls, and I just Mega Quake on them. Because Mega Quake just kills them instantly. But anyway, so we got to level up, and uh, I leveled up uh, HP this part. So, um... Yeah, so, um... Yeah, I want to try to see if I can finish the game with 40 HP. By the way, this is the first of the three Bowser guard doors. Um, there's gonna be three of them, and the this is the first of them. He's he's gonna he's not gonna let us through uh, just yet. So um, he's gonna initially trick us into letting us through, but um, but then he's just gonna put us in jail. But thankfully, there's a cracked wall. So what I like about every party member is that there's a um, there's a use for every of them. Like I don't use Bombette much, but like um, there's always a use for Bombette. But um, anyway, so uh, we're gonna use Bombette, and uh, I forgot to talk to these uh, that minister from the beginning of the game, but. Um, He says there's nothing you can do and you have to rely we have to rely on you please save right there princess peach yeah 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 but um yeah so I think I grab I there's um I think I yeah I talked to the NPCs but um because that's the guard from the beginning of the game but um yeah we basically just hit we we're just gonna crack this wall with bombette and that's actually uh the last thing we'll do in this part of Paper Mario so um. Yeah, Bombette also has a piece of dialogue about how this material is weak compared to Cooper Brothers Fortress, which I actually find kind of interesting. I don't use Bombette very much, but I like her as a character, let's just say. I think Bombette's kind of an overrated party member, but anyway, I'm going to cut it off with this part of Paper Mario. So, um, next time on Paper Mario, we're going to basically try to see if we can get back up to the guard door. See you guys then.